lag screw principle a lag screw is used to compress fracture fragments and the stability it gives is absolute stability in a lag screw the threads engage only the opposite cortex or the far cortex and it slides through a hole in the near cortex the tightening of the screw presses the screw head against the near cortex which leads to fracture compression for an ideal placement of lag screw the lag screw should be placed perpendicular to the fracture a lag screw may be placed through the plate or from outside the plate both partially and fully threaded screws can be used as a lag screw when using a fully threaded screw as a lag screw we have to ensure that the proximal threads do not engage the near cortex for which we have to do something which is known as over drilling of the near cortex insertion of fully threaded screw as lag screw for this we make two holes the first hole is known as a thread hole which involves both the cortices and the diameter is equal to the core diameter of the screw the second hole is known as the glide hole which involves only the near cortex and is equal to the thread diameter of the screw which ensures that the thread gets no purchase in the near cortex which enables sliding of the proximal part of the screw metaphyseal versus diaphyseal lag screw in the diaphyseal area it has a thick cortex so we use a countersink when the lag screw is placed outside the plate this increases the contact area between the screw head and the bone and improves the stress transfer from the screw head to the bone whereas in the metaphyseal area it has a thin cortex so here we should avoid a countersink because a countersink removes the support from the screw head increasing chances of sinking of the screw to further increase the support to the screw head washers can be used position screw a position screw is a screw which holds fragments without compression the threads here engage both the cortices unlike the lag screw so no over drilling of the near cortex is done in this technique neutralization plate a lag screw achieves compression between the fracture fragments however it is weak in both rotational and bending forces so a neutralization plate protects the lag screw and is also known as a protection plate it can be both locking and non locking but the screws have to be inserted in neutral mode so this diagram shows a lag screw which has been neutralized using a neutralization plate note the screws are placed in neutral mode so this was the presentation on the principles of lag screw which is a very important topic for post graduates please like the video and subscribe to the channel to watch further videos also comment in the comment section regarding the topics you will like to be covered in the future videos thank you